Welcome to Indian Stadium here in Jonesboro, Arkansas for our Sunbelt Conference Game of the Week. Tonight, the Aggies of Utah State come against the Indians of Arkansas State and the final time these two teams will meet as members of the Sunbelt Conference and both are in dire need of a victory tonight. For a couple of TDs as well, he's back to throw for the first time. Throws that little swing here to the near side. They've got opening up there and coming out is going to be Chris Forbes out of the backfield. Double tight end situation, man in motion. Turns, fakes the handoff, rolls to his right. Got some opening, he may use it. Goes to the 30-yard line, out to the 35. Still on his feet to the 40, out of bounds, around the 43 or 4 line. One on a fourth down and three. Warren is back in and out of the shotgun, Noche. Wide receivers. Noche, he'll go and get the first down to the far side and some down to the 29-yard line. What a great weapon if they do is again Brooks the tight end in motion. And they'll give it to Warren. Right side, he's got some opening there. Across the 15, down to around the 11-yard line. 13 field goals, and he'll try to hit this one from 22. And it's up, and it is good. So a 22-yard field goal on a drive of an Alexander for the Aggies. They'll kick this one short again. Robinson will not have a chance to get it as once again they come short. And on his way back the other way is going to go Dennis. And Jerome reaches midfield all the way down to the 40. Still on his feet down to the 32-yard line. So the short kicking of ASU. And he was going to be too little too late if that one been on the money. Here's the quick pitch. It's on the ground. ASU diving on top of it. And Utah State may have turned the football over. Like to pitch the ball and, and, and his pitch back was uh, too close the football get away from that option you saw coach Denny on the sideline no Jay they throw again it's open at midfield and off they go to the races to the far side as they swing it out and now on a third down and long yardage situation back to throw his Cox under pressure down he goes at the 45 and again absolutely first and 10 ASU Again, they try to work the run play straight up the middle as they alternate in and out. Warren is in there running at the tailback. Too shabby. Third down, four yards to go for the Indians. No chase. Screams it over the middle to Walker. He just had a little slant in it. They'll play Idaho at Denton coming up on Saturday. No chase for ASU on the direct snap. He can run it down to the 40-yard line. First and conversions. He wished uh, Utah State the very best of luck. He said, I'm only sorry I wasn't here to make things happen. Warren in the open field at the 20. Dives down to the 18-yard line. And boy, just that year now, including the early points of the night, a 22-yarder earlier. This kick is up. Got the right range and another good one. So it is Niehaus. Yeah, so they could really jump it up here. Jackson almost got uh, ASU offsides again. Runs out of trouble. Still trying to get away, but will not. Avoid the tackle that time by James, who comes up with his many motion penalties in a season. Third down, trips to the right, Jackson back to throw. And he lets it air on the other side, trying to get it to Robertson. He catches, but out of bounds. Or did he get his feet in? They are saying in drive, a good job by Utah mixing up their plays. Jackson, that offensive line, giving him time to throw to Robertson. He's got it at the one-yard line and falls in for the touchdown. Oh, my, what a throw, a 30-yard throw that time. Back behind Noche, second down and 11. Noche, late pitch. Warren makes a great catch of that. He's at the 40. Got the midfield line. Still on his feet at the 40. To the 35, and finally out of bounds. Around the 28-yard line. Boy, well, I tell you, we did a great job of sidestepping that sideline. Here's Noche back to throw. Time to throw. Over the middle, he's got a man at the 15. And down they go, all the way down to the end. I threw it behind you. Here's Niehaus with another try, and he's got another field goal up, and it is good. So the field goes once again to Eric Niehaus. Conference football against Idaho, and next Thursday here at ASU. Here's the draw by Cox. Cox has got enough for the first down, down to the 45-yard line. And then third down. And about 20, back to throw is Cox. Got time to throw. He's going to lock this one into coverage. It'll be picked up by Thompson. The freshman has it in midfield and dives ahead to the 45-yard line. And Terrell Johnson to kind of roll through that. Noche fakes the handoff to the big fullback. Now we'll take the run to the outside. Gets one bump, another bump, still on his feet, still rolling. And he's got the first down. What a pinball move that was by Noche as he runs it for low. First and 10 to go at the 33 of Utah State. Noche running out of trouble again. Good on the run on the sideline. Throws underneath, and it's completed the 20. 
So again, at least two or three yards, not lose yards. And the last two times they've been down there, they've lost yardage. And he's throwing this one kind of up for grabs and gets an intercept. He does indeed at the goal line as that ball was batted around. And finally comes down on the intercept. Jackson will draw. And a play later, it falls on the floor on the ground. It's still up for grabs. Utah State, I believe, has recovered. And they'll get it right back at about the line of scrimmage, but it'll bring a fourth down play. So again, they have used a lot of uh, QBs, and they're airing it out. They're throwing this one into the wind. That's up for another grab, and Johnson's got it. Tyrell Johnson makes his second intercept of the night, and he gets it at the 35. That's a tough throw. Because Aaron here, let's see what, James, what can happen here with this rugby-style kick. Darren Tony, along with Johnson, are back. That'll drive Tony back to his own 39. As he'll take it out to the 45, midfield, got a little angle on the near side. If he gets by the last tackle, he's got to run into the end zone. And he will. Tony with a kickoff return of the punt here by ASU. Wow, coach, you kind of felt something like that might happen here. He caught it at the 39 back at field. 61 yards on the return by Tony for a touchdown. Well, he runs a rugby-style kick, and uh, Tony uh, kind of feels his blockers there, and then he gets in the wall and uh, just gets a tremendous hit there. And uh, at this point, he can see the end zone and fruitless chase there. But, uh, you know, the 21 yards needed here by the Aggies. Back to throw again. They throw over the middle. It's going to be complete at the 45-yard line, still on his feet. As he dives in is Robinson. All that down pass in 18 of his 21 starts. This would be number 19 if he can lock one into somebody's hands, but they're going to keep him on the ground, and Shields will get no place to run. as just a vertical pressure on Cox, because so you give him the time, he's going to pick you apart. Well, everybody picking up man for man along that line of scrimmage. You see him spring out. Here is Cox. He's going to try to get the first time in the run. He will not do it. As he'll gain a couple of yards. You take good care of the football. You unpile slowly, and you, you just the best thing that can happen is, well, and the Take worst care of the football, and the worst is this right here. Down. As Cox in the center rolls back to throw. Got a little bit of time now, flushed out of the pocket, comes to the near sideline. He'll throw this one. It's going to be well short of his intended receiver. Strikes the fact a lot of flags have thrown. Jackson back to throw. Third down, short yardage. Plenty of time. He's throwing again into the wind. Coming back to make the reception. It is good. Nine for the only wins. And again, uh, one was on the road, the other was here at Indian Stadium. And again, they try to get this running game with Warren. Again, he needs only 34,000. And he gets that one all the way out to the 40 yards. This may be a victory away against Idaho on Saturday of being there for the fourth straight year. Noche back to throw. He throws complete down to the 45-yard line. So, Tony. Looks better every time you see it, Sam. Second down and 10 to go, Utah. Utah State intercepted. Johnson may be off to the races. Tyrell Johnson has one man to beat, and he will not catch him. No, they sidestep him, and he gets down to the 18-yard line. As again, they get it ahead, and they get it all the way down. Football game. Well, Arizona's, uh, excuse me, Arkansas State comes up with a win, 16-7, to as he hit by Utah State. This is the final meeting of these two clubs as member of the Sun Belt Conference. And with that, Arkansas State gets on.